All right, hey everybody, Ben Burchard again, founder of High Performance Caddying and author of the number one New York Times bestselling book, The Millionaire Messenger and The Charge, activating the 10 human drives that make you feel alive. And this video is gonna make you feel alive. In this video, I'm gonna teach you the six secrets of high performing multimillionaires. What is it that they know and they do and they focus on to achieve so much in their lives? But more importantly, what can you and I do and anybody do to actually amplify their level of performance no matter what they do in life? You know, you might be in a place in your life where you're just trying to get out of bed and find more direction and more clarity and more courage in your life and to join the ranks of the highest performing people in the world. And when I say high performance people, I don't mean you know people who are just achieving millions of dollars. I mean people who are really energized and engaged and fulfilled by life, no matter what they earn. And I know the hook, of course, is revealing what I've learned about my studies with multimillionaires, but also focusing specifically on the human condition and helping you tap into something that's bigger within yourself, that's bolder and more courageous so that you can get more things done, so that you can contribute more, so that you can feel more alive and engaged and excited about your life than you ever have before. You see, as I shared in my book, The Charge, I believe that if we can learn to activate ourselves in a way that generates this incredible emotional charge within, a powerful and vibrant and courageous and loving charge within us, that then we have the ability and the energy and the excitement to accomplish anything in the world, to break through any barrier, to achieve our highest potential. And I had to learn that myself. You know, if you don't know my entire story, when I was a 19 year old kid, I got in a car accident. And at that time in my life, life wasn't going so well. I was kind of aimless and directionless. I really didn't know what I wanted to do in the world and I certainly didn't know about contributing to the world at the highest levels. And I really just hadn't found myself yet. And I don't know if you can relate, but sometimes when you're in a place where your relationships are falling apart, or you're unsure of your future, or you haven't found that passion for yourself about what you want to do with your life, you don't feel fully engaged by life. You, you kind of feel disconnected, but not only from yourself, but from other people and from the greater world as well. And it took a car accident for me to finally break through and realize, you know, what's important in life. Because I learned at the end of our lives, we all ask, did I live, you know, did I live fully and vibrantly and powerfully? As myself, we learned, did I love? Did I love openly and honestly and completely or did I hold back because I got hurt one time? And did I matter? Did I make a difference? You know, maybe I didn't change the whole world but did I change somebody's world? And those three questions of did I live and did I love and did I matter, those sparked within me a desire to transform my life because I wanted to live my life so vibrantly and lovingly and, and with so much dedication to making a difference that by the time I got to the end of my life, I could look back and say, yeah, 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 I lived and I loved and I mattered. I wanted to know the answers would be yes to those questions at the end. So I got very committed to understanding psychology and personal development and neuroscience and how my brain worked and high performance studies so I could finally figure out what is it the highest performing people in the world have figured out that the rest of us haven't. I mean, why is it that for them sometimes it's, so, it's seemingly so easy for them to take on new challenges, for them to find their direction, for them to influence other people? Well, you know what I found? There are six things that they are focused on that often other people aren't. There are six things in their life they chose to not, not only to understand but to master. And in building that mastery in these different levels, they achieve the highest levels of performance. Whether they're a CEO in Fortune 500, or a mom caring for her kids, or a career person who's saying, hmm, what is it going to be for me here in this workplace where I can add significant value and make my own mark? I've learned that the greatest achievements in life are only possible if we can activate the best within us. And you know, success without feeling fully engaged, success without having challenged ourselves and risen up the best within us does not feel that fulfilling. But when we can amplify the best within us, then we can finally achieve something miraculous to other people. 
People will look at your life and say, whoa, how'd you accomplish so much? How'd you achieve so much? Because I knew that. You know, I went through a bankruptcy when I began my first business and I had to turn it all around. I had to turn it around fast and I was terrified. But within me, I knew what to focus on. And because of that, I was able to turn it around and focusing on these very areas I'm going to teach you in, went from literally bankruptcy to just two years, had made $4.6 million. And you can hear my voice crack when I say 4.6 million because I never knew that would ever happen. It happened because I learned to focus on new questions in my life with a greater level of distinction and mastery because I learned from the best and importantly, I'd studied so much about psychology and neuroscience and high performance that I was motivated to challenge myself in a new way. So in this video, I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to ask you to focus on each of these areas in a new way in your life. I'm going to give you one question for each of these areas that I want you to focus on from now on every single day, multiple times a day. Just six questions to run through your mind multiple times a day that will start picking up your level of performance and your level of connection with yourself, others, and the world. How's that for a promise? I'll also push you at the end of this video to contribute something, to challenge yourself even more. And if you do that and you happen to do it in a great way, then I'd be happy to give you an all expense paid trip to my next High Performance Academy seminar. If you haven't heard about High Performance Academy, it is without question the most advanced training in our industry on psychology and physiology and productivity and persuasion. Some of the concepts we'll talk about here that incorporates the latest findings in psychology, neuroscience, and high performance studies and cultivates a real understanding of what's it going to take for you to amplify those. So let's get into this, okay? I'm going to come back to the first thing I want you to focus on because this one people forget all the time, but this is the entire base to high performance. Without a connection and an understanding here, this cannot amplify. So I'm going to come back to this one at the end because that's what most people do in their lives. They go throughout their lives focusing on other things and then they realize, oops, forgot this one. So I'm actually going to start at two. And the first thing that we need you to really focus on in your life, if you're going to become a high performer, is this concept of presence. Now, presence is often misused in, in the category, so let me define what I really mean by that. Presence is the ability to, fully, to become fully invested in the moment energetically. So that you're not distracted and your mind is elsewhere, but bam, you are here, razor sharp, razor clear, fully engaged energetically in your body and in your emotions in this very moment. You know, I love this quote that, you know, the youth of our time, they don't need our presence, as in our gifts and our stuff that we give them. They need our presence, our full emotional and physical engagement in the now. And I know for some people they say, yeah, yeah, whatever, I get it, I get it, yeah. No, you know what? You know what the number one distinction between the most successful people in the world is? They're able to get fully present when it matters. When they walk into the negotiation room, bam, they are there, they're right there, fully engaged, and they're fully invested in the moment and the relationship they're in, in that second. They're not wandering off or checking their Twitter streams. They're actually engaged in the moment. And you can feel it when people are fully engaged. I mean, when, if I'm talking with you right now and I'm really connecting with you and I'm fully engaged and I can sense you on the other side, there's almost this push and this pull of energy between us, right? But there's a second, if I'm talking to you and I go away like this and I keep talking to you and I'm still talking energetically but I'm only halfway there, even if I talk really energetically but you sense that I'm only here a little bit, you can feel that, can't you? And you might be millions of miles away. I have no idea where you are on the planet watching this video, but there's a second when someone goes away. Sometimes it's just as simple as that, but you can sense it and you can feel it. My question for you that I want you to focus on the rest of your life, multiple times a day, is a question for presence, which is this. What level am I right now in this moment in terms of my physical energy and emotional vibrancy? What level am I on a scale of one to 10 in terms of my presence is the question. So what level am I right now? Like if I'm standing in line somewhere, I'm like, what level am I right now in terms of my physical energy and emotional vibrancy and presence? What, what level am I in terms of my presence right now? And I might sense, well, I'm kind of checked out. I'm at a level three. The great thing about your human drives and your brain is that if you say, eh, I'm a level three of presence, 
your brain goes, hold on, look, life is short. You should be engaged in every single moment. What's going on with you? And guilt kicks in and it gives you a little bit of a rush and it says, hey, look, you shouldn't be living your life at a level three. You should be living your life at a level 10. And because you know that, you will activate more presence. I ask myself this when my wife comes home. You know, when she walks in the door, often I've been through a big day too, and I might be exhausted or wiped out, but as soon as she walks in, I go, what level of emotional energy and physical energy and vibrance do I have right now? And, and I'll tell you what, those moments that I go, whoa, I'm like four. Well, is a level four gonna create a, a, a real meaningful connection with her? Is a level four gonna create a magnificent relationship between us? Not at all. Your kids, your family, your spouse, your friends, your employees are all waiting for you to show up more engaged, more energetic, more present in the moment with them. If that's true, ask yourself multiple times a day, what level of presence do I feel in this moment right now? Each of these questions that I'm gonna be asking you, you'll be able to download beneath this video a PDF that will ask you these questions that you can post next to your computer or on a wall somewhere. This first question ultimately is, what level of presence do I feel in this moment right now? And if your energy is low, pick it up. Look, I'm tired. If you saw my schedule of what I've just done the last five days, you'd be like, dude, how did you not crash? And I don't need an energy drink to shoot down or caffeine to fuel me. I think it's time that we start learning to fire within us our own internal charge and energy. And when we do that, then we find ourselves feeling present. And for now, you might have to challenge that of yourself. Get amped up again in every single moment before you sell or you serve or you connect or you love, get there. The second part that I wanna focus on in this video about helping you understand this framework is that high performers focus differently on their psychology than other people. Now, psychology has been my life's work, 15 years studying this, multiple best-selling books on the topic, and I'm incredibly passionate about figuring out what is it that makes our mind and our behavior run? Why is it we do what we do? But more specifically, how is it that people think and use their mind and their behaviors to architect the greatest quality of life for themselves? And you know what I've learned? Is that if we are running our lives without a direction in our terms of our identity, then we just show up in every situation and we kind of just we're, we're, we have no direction, there's, there's no continuity in the congruence of who we are. So here's what we have to do to master our psychology. We have to ask this question multiple times a day. Am I living my truth? Am I living my truth? And here's the way I want you to think about that. Living your truth means, at first, you gotta know what your truth is. And I want you to associate it with your identity. So here's what I'd like you to do. I want you to pick three words that define who you are as a person, and then three words that define how you will interact with other people. And I want you to keep those six words at the top of your mind every single day. Maybe even create a nice little acronym for them. For example, when I think of my self-identity, I think of three words I could be, and for me, my words of emphasis are present, that's first and foremost for me, present, enthusiastic, and bold. Those words mean a lot to me in my identity. I always want to be fully present. I want to be enthusiastic and optimistic and excited for the future of my life. And in the moment, I want to be bold. I want to push myself so that I can challenge, not, not to be bold for other people, to be bold for myself, to stretch myself. So present and enthusiastic and bold. That's my personal identity. My social identity, when I'm working with other people, I want to be caring, I want to be inspiring, and I want to be engaged. Caring so that they sense that I, I care about this relationship, I care about them. I want to be inspiring, I, I want to lift their energy if anything, and I want to be the one person in their life that they say, man, that guy's there, he's engaged, he's really right here with me. And so, top of mind in my psychology, I ask, when I say every day, am I living my truth, I'm wondering, am I present? Am I enthusiastic? Am I being bold? I ask myself, gosh, in this relationship right now, am, am I really being caring? Am I trying to uplift this person with inspiration? And am, am I being engaged here? Those are important to my psychology. The takeaway for you is two things. The first thing 
is that, gosh, if you haven't defined what words should define your identity, then you're just kind of going around life like this. But once you know who you should be, and you have some, some simple words that describe that for yourself, and it doesn't have to be as many words as I use, it could be one or two words that you just remind yourself about yourself every single day. I have one client who every single day, she says to herself, loving, 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 all throughout the day. She meets someone, she says loving. And it's incredible. You know what everyone describes her as? They go, that girl, she's loving. All of her thoughts and her behaviors, her psychology, now revolve around that. Because see, really successful people have a clear identity. And they seek to live all of their life in congruence with that identity. And that identity is always a lofty high, a high standard for who they want to be and how they want to operate in life. And that's what pulls them. See, they have this vision of their highest self and they've described that highest self and they're living into that highest self. So the question I would use for you is, am I living my truth? Am I living my highest self? Focus on that every single day. Watch what happens to your productivity, your engagement, your love of life. Another thing that high performers focus on is they focus on their physiology, the way they move their body and fuel their body to create the level of energy and strength and stamina that they need to actually accomplish their goals. Look, if you are wiped out and you are exhausted and you are tired consistently, it's because not only are you not activating your physiology, but you forgot to care for yourself. And I'll tell you what, it is really hard to achieve your dreams in life when you let your body go. I mean, when you are tired and fatigued, there's a whole new level of just frustration that comes into your life because you don't have the energy to deal with your life, to deal with your kids, to deal with your work, to deal with accomplishing your ambitions. And I don't want you to use your physiology in, in some hype up way where you just jump up and down and find your strength. I mean, that's nice for a moment. But you know what I want you to have in life? High performance. And high performance is unique from like a peak performance experience or an optimal experience. And that high performance is about a sustained level of energy and engagement in life that does not go away. That, that high performance is not a peak and then down. It's high, it stays, it sticks, it sustains. And that comes from learning to use your body in a unique way and to fuel it in unique ways. Now, we could go on and on about all the different things you should do in your physiology and your psychology. That will be the topic of the next video in this series. So if you have not opted in at highperformanceacademy.com, make sure you enter your name and email so you're getting this series. If you already did that, great. So let me give you the takeaway on physiology. Here's what I want you to ask yourself every single day. Very simple question, but the more you focus on the right questions, the better outcomes you get in life. And so here's the question. Am I rested and hydrated? Very simple, right? Am I rested and hydrated? Look, we can control lots of things about our life and there's lots of things we can't control. But in terms of your physiology, nothing is more important than these two questions. Have I slept and have I drank enough water? I know that seems basic, but that's really fundamentals. We'll talk about the next video about nutrition. We'll talk about workouts and exercise. I'll give you the high performer's plan to having a great physical body for stamina and strength. That's in the next video. In this one, I, I want you to cover right now is sleep and hydration. I mean, most of America is not sleeping. Most of the world is not hydrating properly. Here's all you have to know from every single thing that we understand in most psychology studies and neuroscience. You got to be getting seven to eight hours of sleep. Anyone who tells you other is trying to capture you with some interesting marketing, but they're not focusing on the actual research. Everything that we know about sleep and about the importance of performing at the highest levels comes from being in a rested, relaxed, emotional present state. And you can't achieve that if you are wiped out because you slept four hours last night. No matter how cool of a program you think it is, it will take away from you and it will drain you unless you're getting seven to eight hours a night. Look, you control your schedule. Get the seven to eight hours. Life comes up, sometimes that gets interrupted, but our job again is high performance. So we want sustained levels of sleep, seven to eight hours, as often as we can get. Next, hydrate. You should be drinking six liters 
of water a day if you live an active and healthy lifestyle. Now, some people go, oh my God, that's so much water. Well, that's just two liters in the morning, two liters in the afternoon, and two liters in the evening time. Everyone goes, well, that's so much, I'll be going to the bathroom. Going to the bathroom is a good thing. It's releasing toxins from your life. And most people who experience like headaches or fatigue, it comes from a chronic state of dehydration. Most people are actually super dehydrated in their lives and they're always wondering, how come I don't have any energy? You want to see more energy? Drink more water. Not caffeine, not syrupy or sugary beverages. Water. Lots of it every single day, especially if you live a healthy, engaged uh, lifestyle. So again, the question here is, am I rested and fully hydrated? I ask myself that every single day. And boy, when you feel otherwise, then you really got to engage your psychology and these other pieces to get yourself motivated. But when you're there, motivation and ambition, they come easy. But when you're tired, less motivation, less ambition. Next, high performers and multimillionaires are exceptionally talented at focusing on their productivity. I mean, boy, do they produce. And you see this all the time. And I know in your life, no matter who you are and where you're coming from in your life, you could be producing more. Producing is the root word of productivity. And producing means getting things done that are relevant to what you have to accomplish in life. I don't want you to be someone who's just checking off small goals, as an example. I want you to be producing life, challenging yourself not to chase you know, just goals, but actual challenges. Give yourself something that lights you up so when you get up in the morning, you're excited to go tackle that. Every one of us has checklists and things we have to do. But in this video series, in our third video, I'm going to teach you an entire new way to work throughout your day so you accomplish what you need to accomplish to move, you forward, you move your life forward at the most advanced pace and progress as possible. So productivity, how well are you doing in this place? Well, let me give you a simple question to help amplify that. I want you to ask yourself multiple times a day, which is this question, what is my mission today? That's all. What's my mission today? What must I accomplish today to progress my life? What must I accomplish today to move this project forward? What is the ultimate mission today? And that mission, everything else must work around that mission. You don't open your inbox and get stuck in other people's agendas. If you've heard my famous quote from High Performance Academy, we always say, the inbox is nothing but a nice, convenient organizing system for other people's agendas. If you want to take back control of your life, you've got to start setting your, your life around a mission each day. That this is the thing that I'm going to do today and everything else is scheduled around that. And you need to block time each day for the accomplishment of that mission. And everything else must revolve around those things so that you can move forward. And we'll teach the concept of block time and one page productivity so you can make this simple and easy in a future video. For the question of now though, am uh, is, is, the question of now is, what is my mission today? That's what I want you to focus on. The last piece that high performers know, that they really focus on, is this ability to persuade others. The development of their persuasion and influence skills has been something they've been focusing on since they were really deciding to accomplish something significant in the world. After I had my car accident, I said, you know, if I'm going to inspire the uh, masses, I'm going to have to learn to influence other people. I'm going to have to learn to, to somehow take my ideas and translate it into inspiration for them to go move forward, to change their lives, to accomplish more. How do you do all of that? Well, guess what? Multi-millionaires, the world's best marketers, people who grow empires, and people who actually influence their children more, people who actually mobilize their communities, people who accomplish a lot because they're able to engage larger groups of people, they all have one secret. And it's taken a lifetime of study to realize this one phrase that basically they're all doing that allows them to be high performers in the ability to influence other people. And do you know what that is? It's a surprise. And maybe it's just super simple, but it's the secret. And here it is. I'll give you your question to focus on in persuasion. It's this. Am I demonstrating bold enthusiasm? 
If you want to persuade and influence other people, it's the only question I'm going to ask. I'm going to watch your videos if you're trying to sell something or I'm going to see you on stage or I'm going to see you with your children and I'm going to say, well, they're trying to influence that person. Is there a bold enthusiasm there? Because when there is bold enthusiasm, there is movement. There is excitement. Like every great movement in history had a bold, enthusiastic leader. Every great company today has a bold, enthusiastic leader. Bold in that they're willing to push. They're willing to challenge the status quo. So they're being bold about it. They're willing to challenge and enthusiasm. They have a great excitement and optimism for new, for the future, for the moment that they're in. And that enthusiasm spreads. Nothing sells like enthusiasm. No emotion spreads as fast as enthusiasm. That's, it's like emotional contagion. When people are excited, everyone gets more excited. You're probably more excited just watching this video because I'm demonstrating some bold enthusiasm for you, I hope. So the question for you, every single day, am I demonstrating bold enthusiasm? If you're trying to influence your team, have you been doing a good job at that? If you're trying to influence your children, have you been bold and enthusiastic with them? If you're trying to create a greater connection with someone so that they will follow you, buy from you, um, invest in you. What level of bold enthusiasm have you demonstrated? Not just have you felt, but demonstrated. They know it, they sense it. They describe you as a bold enthusiast. That's the secret. That's what people are doing to influence the masses. That's what I want you to do. So these are some of the questions that really high performing multimillionaires focus on. They focus on what level am I in terms of my presence in this moment right now? Most of them do it unconsciously. They've done it so long. But I bet you're watching this video. I bet you're a high performer already. But focusing on these questions are going to take you to the next level. So here they are in recap. What level am I in this moment in terms of my presence? And again, I describe presence as physical energy and emotional vibrancy. Okay? What level am I in terms of my presence in this moment on a scale of 1 to 10? And if I'm not up at 8, 9, or 10, I've got to get reengaged and reconnected. Psychology. Our question is, am I living my truth? And we associated your truth with a description of your highest self. Three to six words that describe who you want to be ideally. And then you live in congruence with that. When you live in congruence, your psychology is happy. When you don't live in congruence with who you know you are or could be, you are unhappy. Simple equation in life. Then physiology, I want you to ask, am I rested? Am I hydrated? I hope in this video or after that you finish this video, you go get some water and you start drinking more water and you start scheduling more sleep for yourself. You know you need to do those things anyway. Those are simple wins you can do right now. Next, productivity. What's my mission today? And center and focus everything around that. And then finally, I want you to ask this very important question of am I demonstrating bold enthusiasm if I want to influence other people? These are the types of topics that high performers are always focused on. These are the topics that multimillionaires do unconsciously. These are the topics that have taken my life from literally broken and bankrupt to multi-million dollar level, get and contribute and serve to the world so I know they work and we've proven in demonstrating them. This is what we talk about at High Performance Academy. We spend four days breaking all this down at very advanced levels, giving people plans and research and tools and strategies and the emotional charge so that they can become a high performer. But we have one, left, one thing left. I told you I left this out and I'm coming back to this because all of this would not mean as much if we forgot this one. And this is the one that gives life that grand meaning and connection and it's the one that most people want. And it's the one I want you to focus on as a question every single day as well. And when you do that, you feel more engaged. You feel more alive. You feel more fulfilled. And isn't that what you want in life right now? More engagement, more aliveness, more fulfillment. It comes from the base of this entire framework, which is right here. And that is high performers are always connected to purpose. They're always connected to the meaning of life and the meaning of why they're doing what they're doing. And their question that is going throughout their mind before they ever go into any situation, before they think about themselves even, before they plan out their grand ambitions in life is this question, how can I serve greatly? How can I serve greatly? You know, 
I recently worked with a major CEO. He just got brought in to reorganize a big company. And he was focused on so many different questions about the team and everything. I said, no, no, let's take a look at your role. How are you going to serve greatly here? And that simple question inspired all these things that he wanted to do to create a culture that was a high performance culture. And I know that no matter what you're doing, whether your culture is just your kids and your family or your team or the community you're trying to lead online, it all comes from, do they sense this about you? Are you connected with a, a higher purpose, not just in, in what you're accomplishing and seeking to do, but a higher spiritual connection that allows them to feel that they can connect with you, trust you, follow you, and know that you're serving a great purpose in your own life. And when you are connected there, people feel it. And I know you'd sense that. Because let me remind you, at the end of our lives, we all ask, did I live? Did I love? Did I matter? Find your purpose today and ask this question, how can I serve greatly? Think about the people you're leading online through Twitter or Facebook or Tumblr or YouTube or all the other things that you can do these days, Google Plus, and ask, how can I serve greatly? Asking this will inspire you to get outside of yourself. It will allow you to think about the community and the greater world and your contributions there. And then you amplify all of this on top of that and it's like a stack of awesomeness. And suddenly one day you wake up and you're like, I'm kicking some butt. And you feel like a high performer again. You feel that level of charge within you that inspires you to take on anything. This is the high performance model we teach at High Performance Academy. This is your goal, your dream, your focus from now on. Can you do it? So here's my challenge for you. I would love for you to get involved in our community, not only by posting some questions or comments about this video below, and you can do anything. You can make fun of me, you can tease me, but you can also hopefully contribute some ideas that will change people's lives down below. Ask me any questions, I'll engage personally right here on this page. And I would also like to encourage you this. What I'd love for you to do is, and I know we waited way very long to get the people who would watch and really be invested in this. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to go and shoot a video of you talking to the camera, whether it's just with your iPhone or other mobile device, or, and just shoot a video, post it on YouTube, and here's what I want you to do in the video. Teach what have you done, what high performance secrets have you learned in your life? What, what, are three, just, what are three success principles that you put into play in your life that allow you to achieve more? That's it. I want you to turn yourself into a teacher and I want you to do it with bold enthusiasm, thinking about how can you serve greatly. Let's prove that not only is high performance something that you know, I'm focusing on here in this video, but we should all focus on because once we focus on these success principles that you're going to teach, you can improve lives. Let's turn you into a leader now. Let's turn you into a contributor to the community. So go shoot a video, post it on YouTube, come back to this page, post your link below as described below this video. And I'll tell you what, we'll go ahead and look through all these videos and we'll take the five best videos, the ones that are the most authentic and boldly enthusiastic and serve the greatest. And here's what we'll do. We'll give those top five folks an all expense paid ticket out to our next live High Performance Academy. How's that for some fun? So go challenge yourself to be a high performer today. Get that done. Be productive. Put up a video up that leads and serves the community. I think you'll be really engaged by this and it will serve everybody who watches your videos. So I look forward to seeing your videos. I look forward to hearing your stories of being a higher performer and no matter what you do. And most importantly, I look forward to hearing about the charge that you found within yourself again that allowed you to be a high performer and contribute greatly. Until I see you in the video or your video or out on the road someday. Go out there every single day of your life, live fully, love openly, and make a difference today.